All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lakers Daily. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily Lakers content. So Kevin Durant, about 10, 15 minutes ago, actually requested a trade. This video isn't about Kevin Durant coming to the Lakers, unfortunately. But this opens up the door because KD will be traded, Kyrie will be traded, and you know where Kyrie wants to go? He wants to go see his man, LeBron King James. If you guys have been watching this channel this offseason, there is a 100% chance in my brain that Kyrie Irving ends up on the Lakers. And so we have a, what is, who is this from? This is from Frederick Ennett at Heavy.com. This is how Kyrie Irving could possibly get to the Lakers. It's a little paragraph. One NBA executive suggests a trade where the Nets trade Kyrie to the Lakers and get three-time Defensive Player of the Year Rudy Gobert in return. You could do three teams, Kyrie to the Lakers, Gobert to Brooklyn, and Russ to Utah, with the Jazz probably buying him out. That's a long shot, though. It could be something that happens during the season if the Nets get on the court and things go sideways. This was before KD requested the trade. So... I think things are coming to fruition to have this actually happen here. About an hour ago, we saw Royce O'Neal traded to the Brooklyn Nets for a first-round draft pick. Shout out to the Jazz for getting a first-round draft pick out of Royce O'Neal. It makes me think, you know, why didn't like Jeremy Grant or Christian Wood get more than what they got? But at the same time, things change. You know, this offseason starting to get real juicy. It was looking like it was going to be a relatively quiet offseason, and now it's getting juicy. But basically, we're about to see the destruction of both the Brooklyn Net roster and the Utah Jazz roster. And so in a three-team trade, Brooklyn, assuming they get rid... Like, Brooklyn is going to be looking to get their haul from Kevin Durant, not Kyrie Irving. So... What Brooklyn is trying to do here is you're trying to unload Kyrie Irving for whatever you can get. If they can get Rudy Gobert back in return for Kyrie Irving, they're doing that in a heartbeat. And from there, you have Ben Simmons and you have Rudy Gobert. And then in the Kevin Durant trade, whoever it's going to be, whatever team it's going to be with, that's where you look for another star, more scores, more depth, you know, that type of thing, more assets in general. So the reason I think this is such a... This could like a re this is a realistic possibility because Utah's blowing it up. Brooklyn's not blowing it up, but they're definitely retweaking their roster. And so Kyrie Irving, it, it just makes so much sense in LA. And like I said, you're from the Brooklyn Nets standpoint, you're getting Rudy Gobert back in this trade. So really, Utah's the only thing, the only team that's getting shafted is Utah. But the, and they're going to want their first round draft picks. They're going to want their picks in this in this deal. So that's really it for today, man. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Kyrie Irving could come to the Lakers? Like I said, I think it is 100% going to happen. But you know, maybe that's just me being optimistic. But I really genuinely think Kyrie wants to play with LeBron. LeBron wants to play with Kyrie. And I think if that's what they both want, that's what's going to happen. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. See you guys later. Peace.